Everybody's flocking to the city of dreams, hoping to hitch their wagon to a star. Passport, please. What is the purpose of your visit? I'm an actor, douchebag. <laughs> I'm a psychic superstar. I'm a documentary filmmaker. I'm here to win prizes, sweet cheeks. Are you treating me alone? Oh, no, I've got my mum in here. What these three men don't realize is that fame and fortune are fleeting. It's stupidity that's eternal. Welcome to La La Land. The city streets are paved with all I love to like. I blew right in to make the wrongs that I did do. This town will love me through the day, through the night. Mickey! Yeah, it's me. I've arrived. I'm in bloody La La Land. <laughs> yeah, I've got this geezer driving me. Guess what? He drove Jason Strathlon. Yeah! Have you seen Crank? Of course. <laughs> right, crank one, if his heart rate drops, yeah. he dies. Yeah, that's... And crank two, if his heart rate drops, he dies. Gary just landed in L.A. However, Brendan arrived a few days ago and has already hired his camerawoman, Kiki, a dancer he met in a Koreatown strip club. When I saw you in that cage and I looked at you, I thought, this girl is going to bring me luck. And that's really? why I brought you. Here we are. Chateau Brendan. It's only one bedroom, Kiki, but you get to sleep in a chair. It's a wonderful experience, experience to drive you around. Thank you so much, Chico. OK. Shirley Ghostman was on the brink of becoming Britain's most famous psychic entertainer, but recent events have forced him to flee the UK. When I make it in America, Chico, everyone back in England will be like, sorry we did wrong by you. We should never have bloody arrested you. Because all you were doing was trying to do good for the world, and it all got turned against you. The British police force has frozen Shirley's bank accounts. To keep up appearances, he's promoted his driver, Chico, to the position of personal assistant. Come on, Chico. Hello. I'm uh, checking into the hotel. You booked me in for a couple of weeks, and then I think we can just, you know, keep it going from there. I see a photo ID and a credit card. OK. I just look and sleep. Now, when I bring you back from your trance, you will allow me to stay here for two weeks and come back. OK. We're all done, then. Have you got, like, a little card to get in the door? Or whatever it is, the little doodah? Key? Yes. So do you have an ID with you so I can put your name I do. Um... and sleep. Have you seen any of Ruta Lee's movies? Seven Brides for Seven Brothers? She's a diamond. When she's over in the UK, because I drive, I do what you're doing now <laughs> yeah. in the UK. And once I was driving Route of Lee, that's how we first met. And she did say to me, Gary, if you ever come over, my door is always open. She's proper old school Hollywood, you know? Ah, oh, Mrs. L. Welcome. <laughs> Hello. Come on in. God, you look gorgeous. Well, thank you. I fluffed up for you. <laughs> 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 this house was once lived in by Rita Hayworth and Orson Welles. Oh, Enjoy. my God. South Pacific, Bob Hope and Jack Benny. With me. You got a bird? Yes. <laughs> now, what brought you here? Well, my mum thought I could do it. You know, she was like, she wanted to be an actress, and she put a lot of effort into it, and she ended up doing, you know, erotic, that's all right. Stuff in England, mm -hmm. but she had a stroke while she was doing a film. I'm sorry. With six guys and on her deathbed, she was like, Gary, you should be an actor, my son. You and know? what have you done? I haven't... I mean, I did a lot of stuff at school. school. I was like mm -hmm. a rat in a Pied Piper of Amelin. But everyone, you know, when I'm down a pub, everyone turns around, you know? I'm like, all right. And everyone, every, let's go, is that Gary? But that's, you should be on a stage, sure. mate. Cos I go in there and I'm doing all this. All you, right, like is all right. Me, you know, doing a little joke, going over. I'll get someone in a... Cute, in a cute, 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 oh, cute, 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 all bullshit. Cute, cute, all bullshit. But everyone's Doesn't right, mean it's Gary, Mrs now, L. Shut and all up that. for one minute. You're coming in and doing A and having all the guys, you know, all the blokes in the pub turn around and say you should be in the movies. It's not <laughs> what, what it is, say. though. That is what they say. I can tell jokes. No, knock, knock. Who's there? I did up. I did up who? <laughs> Mrs. L. 
Yeah. Was there a joke there? Well... I didn't get it. All oh, right, knock, knock. Who's there? I did up. I did up who? Did you? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I did up... Are you good, isn't it? It doesn't mean diddly squat. <laughs> it does. No, it doesn't. Straight away, I'm not here. I'm it like... might mean it to the Who's blokes that? at the bar, but you don't know shit from Shinola about what the technicalities are of film. Yeah, but I've been trained in a university of life. You know, I... That may be fine, but you haven't been day, trained. Acting is lying, isn't it? It's like if you're out of a bird and she's like, does my bum look big in this? You know you ain't going to get anything tonight if you say, yeah, it's huge. So you go, no? There, that's acting. You have not the vaguest frigging idea what you're talking about. <laughs> oh, come not on. the vaguest. Come on, Mrs. L. I can do drama. I'm not, you know, I don't How cry. How do you know you can do drama? But look at this. And what is that supposed to prove to me? <laughs> no, imagine what I'm thinking now. I have not the vaguest no, no, idea, nor do I care. I know, but I, see, I, can, I can do it in the eyes. Everyone says I can do it in the eyes. Watch. Sad. Happy. I'm thinking about something. What's this? <laughs> you know that? what? Um, That's not acting. The thing what makes me different from other sidekicks is a lot of celebrities come through. I've got, okay. like, access to the sort of VIP area, if you like, in heaven. You know, that's a gift, so that would be something I I'm actually sure had Heath would... Ledger come through to me. Oh, my. But I worry that that's too soon. That might be. You know, I want to turn up in Hollywood here and just make it big. Well, I think you start need to start building and getting some following. I don't know of anybody that does the psychic readings that that's, looks like you. I would like to change a bit if I can. What happened to me in the UK, I want to silence that and begin again. And begin again here, OK. Because basically what happened was Olivia Graham's parents hired me because their child went missing. And I do a lot of this work in the UK where I help investigators. investigators? Yeah. Okay. And then they were looking for her, and the spirits were showing me her in very shallow water, and I said, stop the search, she is dead. <gasps> the publicity was fantastic. I was front page. Living gave me a series that everyone was going sweet, and then she escaped from hiding. Olivia had escaped from a basement in Bixby Square less than a mile from her home and ruined Ghostman's already debatable credibility. What followed was a public downward spiral of self-destruction by the fallen fraudster. And this is when they got me, because they got an undercover reporter... Oh, dear. ..to trick that... me. Mm -hmm. And he basically offered for £4,000 cash that he could wipe her out for me. And it was his idea, not mine. All I've got is some footage where I was nodding at what he was saying. I didn't directly say, get rid of her. OK, so you ha Now, OK, get, let's go back to the living series. So you had a series. I had a series. You had one. OK, so you have fine. that behind you, so that's good. So you have... Well, no, I don't, because this little shit escaped. So you want to stay here, though, now. Leave that behind. Do you think you want to stay in Los Angeles? I'd love to stay in Los Angeles. Love I'd love to make it here. Okay. And to be honest, if I do go back there, I'll get arrested. Across town, Brendan eagerly awaits his first L.A. pitch meeting with an award-winning producer. Come here. Come here. Sheldon Alfeld. Sheldon Alfeld. Uh-huh. Uh, Thank you. Uh, Who is it? Sheldon Alfeld. Who? Sorry, I feel. Um, no, so let's let add again. Oh, what's your name again? What's that? What? Sheldon. Sheldon Ophel. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Oh, Sheldon Ophel. Sheldon Ophel. Yeah. Yeah. Hi. How do you do? Brendan Allen, please meet you. How do you do? You. Please take a seat. Thank you. Well, it's a You don't mind if I sit over here? No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. So. What brings you to Hollywood? Um, I am a movie maker, and I want to make documentary feature films in Hollywood. I'm on this journey on my own, really. Well, I've got Kiki, who does my camera work for me. I just want to make something... <clears throat> ..here. Along what lines? OK, what about sharks? Sharks? Well, for years now, we've only been watching documentaries where we see sharks from above the water, seeing their fins, seeing kind of that froth around the fins. My idea, we bought a cage, maybe something like steel to stop the sharks getting in, 
and then we have someone underneath the water film the sharks. You actually see under the water. Uh, yes. That's been done uh, quite some time. No, 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 no. That's when you can see the fins on the top. No, I'm you talking about... You build a camera about, yes. that actually films underwater. No, I understand so not, that. That's what was named Cousseau. The late Cousseau did. No, no, sorry, I don't think you... Sorry, okay. I don't want to respect okay. what you're saying, but I don't think you understand what I'm saying. I want about building a camera, because uh, I've got a friend who's got a radio that uses in the shower. Okay. I'm on about using some of that technology, building a camera and actually filming under the water. So you actually see the sharks That's swimming exactly around. That's exactly what I was telling you. Why are you doing this to me? I'm not doing anything Well, you, to you. do. You do. Every I've idea been a producer you, 60 you years. You are just pummeling it down. I have produced almost 4,000 shows. It's been done. No, they've all, under you've, the water. No, they've only been filmed from above the no, water. No, they have not. If you filmed under the water, you'd get eaten by a shark. Not in a cage. Uh, well, no, exactly. That's my idea. You build a cage, you put someone in it, you lower them down, and then you film it under. So I don't know who this... Um, Jacques Cousteau. Yeah. Um, but I'm saying I, Brendan Allen, yes. not Jacques, whoever it is. What is it? Jacques Cousteau. Yeah. Go under the water, below I the... I know what you're saying. Yeah, below where the boats are. I understand what well, you're saying. Yeah, then, right, so... Except I, for one small detail. It has been done. They just took a snap of me at a urinal. I put my hand up, and I don't know they what, they photoshopped it. this, because this is not... Of course uh, they that's did. not me. Yeah, of course, and, you know that stuff happens all the time. All right, but I'm not gay, OK? OK, that's fine. I've got a family. I'm fed up with do. people saying that I'm gay when I'm not gay. There, that's my family. Mm. Oh, shit, sorry. That's my family. Uh, is that... OK, is, you, who's the, is that a little boy? Yeah. Lovely, aren't they? How old are your children? Um, four. That's a little one. Do you think? A five? One. That's a baby. That's a baby. That's the little baby of the family. The sharks can't get him because of the cage around yes. him. Yes. This cage has been seen in a lot of film. And Why do you want to knock a young man's ideas? Destroy I am supposed my to tell originality. You that's a great idea. Go ahead and do it and make a fool of yourself. Because you know? this is the problem with Americans. Okay. They steal my ideas. The I'm, I'm about sorry, two seconds from walking out of here because you you're are jealous the, you're, of me, aren't I am? you? And why don't you just say it? I am? Yeah. Jealous? Yes. Best of luck to you. Yeah. You're going to need it. Yeah, I will have to. The guy's a fucking idiot. Ruta Lee has sent Gary to have his actor's headshot taken by photographer to the stars, Lennon. So have a seat. Is this all your wardrobe's in here? My wardrobe? Yes. Is oh. this what you're going to be shot in? Well, yeah. I'm just going to tell you that this is not going to read well on camera for, or for a headshot. Well, I, I don't know. What, what do you mean? It ain't well, going to read well. It's, uh, this is, like, expensive gear. To be honest, like, I've done a lot of this before. I ain't telling you how to do what you do. OK. But I've done, like, wedding stuff and, like, I've done my sister's wedding. I've done, like, okay. you know... The best way... Is this a proper place before we get off onto the wrong foot? Have you got, like, proper backdrops with, like, library and all that and... You know, the wheel where you let you on a wheel and it looks like a countryside or well, something. Well, that's what you would do if you were going to Sears for a family portrait. This is... I shoot actors. Well, you, but in all seriousness, right, you ain't got a library backdrop. 